Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're back on some Need for Speed Payback and I'm about to go find my baby. It's finally in the game. It's here. Oh, the Skyline 2000 GTR, the Hakusuka, is finally in the game. I'm so happy. This is my favorite car. It's so nice. It's not my favorite car, overall car, but it's probably one of... Actually, this may be my favorite classic Jap... Yeah, it is actually it's definitely my favorite Japanese classic. Of all time there's no other car that comes even close to it so let's go ahead and try to find this thing as by uh, need for speed's little hint tweet that they put out uh, this car is somewhere near the dam so the dam is right here uh, so I'm guessing it's somewhere in this general direction like here I mean there's loads of little places here where you could just like park your car and stuff like that so it's probably there I or maybe even here uh, I'm just gonna go and do a run literally just like this and they'll probably come down this way, and then go down, go go this way, um, and then just try to search along this area. Pretty much every road that's just connected to the dam, I'm gonna just try search, and then see if I can actually find this thing. So, let's get started. Let's have a look and see if I find this thing. I I hope I find it kind of early. I don't want to spend a long time just searching for this thing. I also don't want to cheat by like looking at like some videos or like I don't I don't want to ask people about it. Ooh, hello. There's a little opening here. What's this? Is it around here? No, it's not. Damn it. It's definitely not that weird RV thing, is it? <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's see if we can find this thing. Oh, I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! Yay! It's here! Look at it! Oh, hello, baby. It was right about here. This is where I found the car. Hello. Let's go bring you back to the shop. Oh. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. What is it? It's a race spec as well. Oh my god. I feel like I'm gonna disappoint a lot of people with this car. Um, because of the way I'm gonna build it. It's not gonna look very interesting, to be completely honest. It's gonna be very, very... Whoa! It's gonna be very, very plain looking when I build this thing because it's... I, I love this car so much. Just the way it looks, like as a classic car. Um, there's just few, there's like a, a small few like changes or upgrades I can put to it, uh, which I'm most it, well. It's definitely gonna have them because the uh, one of Need for Speed 2015 100% have them as well, uh, and I feel like they're like very stock Japanese or not Japanese, very stock like Nissan cars as well that I kind of want to put on them so or I, I want to put on it. So it's it should definitely be in the game, you know. So anyway. Let's go ahead and try and avoid getting absolutely destroyed by these police. Um, it's not incredibly fast, but the thing that I'm going to do with it is I'm actually going to upgrade it really, really quickly. I actually don't think I have the money for it, though. I thought about it just for a second here. I was like, I might go ahead and upgrade this. Actually, can we get this thing to 399? That'd be kind of interesting. That'd be kind of interesting to try. Um, but I'm going to keep this... Just stock for now. I will go ahead and probably build this thing up a little bit later on. If I have the money to bu to buy that, like uh, the pack, the like the level up pack, I'll definitely do that now. But if I don't, then I'm just probably not gonna buy it. Uh, I may just buy like the cheaper one, which is I don't know, like level six or something like that. I don't know if this guy's already on level six price or not. It doesn't feel like it because it's still quite slow, but it, it does drive pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. If I can get this thing to level 399, then I'm, then I'm definitely going to try to get it to 399, just to see what it'll handle like, what, just what it'll drive like. Um, but, uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't run this car, like, maxed out fully, because, I don't know, I just, I, I don't feel comfortable having this car. Yeah! <laughs> I didn't even try to get out of the way, I just wanted to crash into him. I just, I slipped away, did I? I'm in a rusty... Alright. Oh. Right. It drives quite well. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit slow. Obviously. But it drives quite well. Hello. I just came in with a solid impact, Control. Okay, nice one. So you have that direction. Alright. We're about 1.8 miles away. Oh god! 
careful here. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, goodbye, Rhino. No, near you. This, uh, this little scan has got some moves. This little GTR has got some moves. Uh, I don't know why. I, I'm blind, dude. I'm definitely blind. How did I not see that guy? I'm just gonna blame. Okay. I'm gonna blame the color of it that it was the same color as the actual road. I just put the password here. No, you're not going anywhere. Hello. You're gone. Uh, really? Oh, hello. He <laughs> just moved me out the way. I didn't have to reverse or anything. Alright. 1,600 yards. You know what? I'm going for it. I'm done with this whole on the road thing. Yes, push me. Push me. And then just touch. Okay, well, I can't. Why can I not just go across that? Game. Why is there so many limitations? I'm getting closer to the strip. Okay, everybody's just like sort of left me. Good. Good, good, good. You've lost visual, did you? Sure you did. Okay, this is very shaky right now. My controller's going crazy. Alright, we've made it. We've made it to the base. Yes, I love this car so much. You guys have no idea how much I absolutely love this thing. Let's go ahead and uh, build this thing or make it look nice and clean again because uh, I know exactly how I'm gonna build this car as well I know everything I'm gonna put on it everything alright I kinda like the whole rusty thing on it it's kinda cool but of course uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, modify this thing so it doesn't look like that or not modify it but like pretty much clean it up a little bit and I'll show you guys pretty much how I'm gonna build this thing I don't know why it's laggy I don't understand why this game goes really laggy Okay, well, it's actually kind of fixed now. Maybe it's just trying to load everything all at once. Um, actually, let me go with the hood and everything, or just try to clean it up a little bit. So, we'll do that. I could even go for a carbon fiber hood, honestly. I kind of I kind of like that. Um, so, do that. Make it nice and clean. Even the color's perfect. That silver is absolutely perfect. I definitely don't want to change anything there with that. Uh, I will go with some wide body arches, which are probably going to be either these. I'm not going to go with that, that big arches. No, 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 no. No. I like these like little or these little arches, but I kind of like the little carbon fiber ones. They kind of suit this car quite well. Um, now, if I go over to, I can't change the grill, so I'm guessing the front bumper will also change the grill, or maybe that's already just shiny. Anyway, uh, I guess just a normal chrome one is completely fine. For the splitter, it needs to have a little chin on it. Of course, it does. Uh, for the headlights, I can't even go to them. Hello, thank you. For the headlights, they're perfectly fine, just the color that they wear. Ooh, they have these Skyline headlights. They look kind of cool though, when they're, when they're fully masked. I could go full on race spec with this thing, they'll look absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm probably just gonna choose the slightly darker ones, I guess. I mean, there's nothing really else that I'm gonna probably change for. For that bit. For the front bumper, I can probably even go with the carbon fiber just so it matches the the arches. Which I'm probably gonna do. I'm gonna modernize this thing, alright? I, I like this, I like this car quite a lot the way it is, like just as a classic car, but I'm gonna modernize it a little bit by adding like carbon fiber parts to it and stuff like that. Because I feel like that'll be nice um, for this thing. I feel like it'll look kind of cool. Um, let's have a look here. Obviously, these are the arches that will sort of match the front ones. Um, for the tail lights, I think they're perfectly fine the way they are. I don't really want to change them to anything else. I like that de-chroming thing as well. Uh, for the trunk lid, change that. For the rear bumper, I'm guessing that's gonna that is gonna change the whole thing. I honestly like it without any of the bumpers as well on it. I think it suits it quite a lot. The exhaust again, dual tip. It's probably the way to go. But there's no like diesel ones. All of them are just sort of meh. The standard ones probably suit this thing the best. I'm not gonna add a diffuser on it. Uh, and for the spoiler, it obviously needs to have the, the normal skyline wing here. And then uh, I think that's pretty much it. Now for the wheels, it has to have the Watanabe wheels. It has to has to have them. So let's go ahead and try to find them. I'm just gonna. I don't know if I went very fast or not. 
Uh, I don't think I did. Let's try find these. There they are. Nice. I'm not gonna go... Uh, actually, I could go with the normal ones at the front and the deep dish ones at the back, which I probably will do. Make it look a little bit more interesting here. So, we'll keep those on the front. It's not the arches, the wheels, please. Thank you. And now if we go over, same ones. Have slightly wider ones on the rear end. It'll make this look a little bit, like cooler I guess. Uh, I really do need to have the same paint on the front as I do on the rear so can I just go ahead and sort of go to the paint and do that and apply the all rooms? I can. That's perfect. So then now I'm not even going to change the tire size. The tire size is absolutely perfect. So now my rear and my front will match and this is it boys. This is this is my baby. This is how I want it to look. A little bit lower and that's it. That is my Hakusuka. That is my Skyline 2000 GTR. That is how I want mine to look. If I ever somehow manage to own one in real life, this is what I want it to look like. I love this car so much. It's an absolute beauty. Just everything about it is beautiful. Everything. The color, the wheels, they're, they're perfect. And all the little Nissan parts on it, they, they suit this car so well. The exhaust, I probably would keep stock as well. I, I'll probably change them so they're uh, slightly, slightly bigger, but I'll still keep like the the dual, like the dual tip as well, or like the twin exhaust on the back. I think that's perfect. Anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it there for this build or for this video altogether. Hopefully if you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I really did enjoy like, like this guy. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. It's uh, it's definitely going to stay in my collection forever. I'm going to go ahead and probably build this thing up. And I'll probably show it off in the next video. If you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on it. Uh, well, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. This was the Hakusuka location and slight build, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching again. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.